In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about a uh, defense that will help you guys against pretty much any formation that you're going to be facing. We're going to be talking about match defense against random formations. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And like I said, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my nickel normal defense out of the San Francisco 49ers playbook and how it can actually work well against any formation of the game. One of the main reasons why I really do like this playbook. I've been getting a lot of questions lately that could you do some video breakdowns against random type formations, not necessarily just bunch or trips, which is what most people are running online. So I figured uh, I'll do kind of a series of videos where we take just kind of random formations and we talk about how um, these defenses work. So uh, that's what we're going to do in this video. If you want to learn my full defense, where we actually break down formation by formation, how to use this scheme, you can get it by uh, joining my Patreon membership. And it's not just a coverage scheme. It's coverage. It's blitzes. It's all run defenses, goal line defenses, situational, uh, situational defense at its highest level. So if you want to learn uh, that, I would encourage you to join my Patreon. You can sign up for the Patreon for just $10 a month. And it unlocks all of my Madden 22 ebooks, exclusive tips, and pro player breakdowns. You got over 13 ebooks, uh, several tips, and all of that stuff. So if you want to get access to that, again, that's going to be available via my Patreon. Now, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to break down how cover four quarters um, and, and how we can utilize this defense. You know, TCU is one of my favorite defenses to study. And why I really do like to study them is because I think that they have probably some of the best uh, material on running the quarters defense and uh, anyways the reason that it's so good is because what quarters allows you to do is it allows you to still be able to have two high safeties or split field coverages right and what that's going to do is going to help you in your pass game but because it's a cover four style defense it's also going to help you in your run game your safeties are really the most important piece uh, of this defense and so uh, what I wanted to do today was talk about how this formation works against kind of your standard uh, under center formation so today we're gonna be talking about the single back a slot this is also very similar uh, to how this would work against the gun a slot because the only difference really is just where the running back is so I'm just gonna have some kind of standard uh, concepts here and then I really want to show you how this can help also be able to stop the run uh, just as much as it is very effective against the pass okay uh, so anyways let's just jump into the video like I said if you want to get the full ebook there will be a link in the description below where you can get that but let's talk about these concepts okay guys so the way that quarters is going to work is quarters is a man mat or a pattern matching defense so basically what that boils down to is what we want to do is the center and the quarterback, they're basically going to divide the field in half. And I've said this a lot, but I'm going to say it again. If you can count to three, you can play quarters coverage. What that means is it's using a numbering system to tell you how the defense and the defenders are going to relate to the offensive players. So in this example, what you've got here is we've got a, uh, we've got a wide receiver to the left. Okay, that's Mike Evans. He would be considered the number one receiving target on the left side of the field. The number two receiver in this example is going to be Antonio Brown. So he's the number two receiving threat on that side of the field. And then the tight end here, number 80, he is the number three receiving set to that side. So in essence, we have essentially three receiving threats to the left, and then we actually have one and kind of a half, if you will, receiving threats to the right. What I mean by that is because in this example where the A slot is a little different under center than in gun, is the running back can actually go to either side of the field, whereas um, if he was to the right side, he would be numbered according to the right. So the reason that all of this is significant is because we have, um, if you think about it, quarters, we have four quarters, right? Four players that are in quarters. And the way this defense is supposed to work is it's going to, it, it basically kind of operates under the assumption that generally speaking, you're not going to get five verticals, you're going to get four verticals. And so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have man coverage on four vertical routes. And then if the back goes vertical, then the rest of the coverage will definitely flood the vertical. But we're basically kind of anticipating that the back is not going to go vertical. However, the back might go on a little wheel or a little, uh, little running back in route or a little curl, something underneath, right? 
So that's kind of how the principle works. Four uh, qu quarters was actually originally uh, designed to defend four verticals, okay? So when we say verticals in Madden, um, and, and especially when we talk about quarters coverage, we're not just talking about uh, we're not just talking about four streaks, if you will. We're not just talking about a concept that looks like this, right? We're also talking about a concept that might look like uh, this, for example, could be considered a four verticals concept, right? Because a vertical route is 10 yards or more, okay? Uh, in Madden, that might even be like seven to 10 yards or more, right? So for example, if, if Brown were to go to the flat, that would not be considered a vertical route. But if Brown goes on a curl, that would be considered a vertical route. However, if Brown goes on a hitch, that would not be considered a vertical route. So you see a little bit of a difference here. Based on how far they go down the field, that's what kind of uh, tells the defense that they're in a vertical route. So when we talk about quarters and we say, how does quarters relate to a formation like a slot? Well, what we have here is we have an outside quarter to the left. Now that number one corner on the outside um, that's over the top of Mike Evans in this example, he is relating to Mike Evans, right? The number one corner relates to the number one receiver. So if the number one receiver runs a vertical route, remember seven to 10 yards, right? So a deep dig, a curl, an out, um, a streak, a post, a C route, right? Then the number one corner is gonna convert and he's actually gonna play man to man on that player. Now, if you think this out the way quarters works, this is one of the reasons I like it so much is because now if you take a look here, Justin Simmons, He's an inside quarter, and he is going to relate to the number two receiver. So notice how we've got our slot cornerback that is over the top of 81. What we're going to get is this uh, this guy is going to bump him if he goes on a vertical route, and he's going to basically deliver him then to Justin Simmons, who will then take him if and only if he runs a vertical route. So if Brown wants, runs to the flat, for example, then Callahan will take him. If Brown runs a slant, Callahan will press him and then deliver him to the three receiver hook here, this linebacker, okay? This uh, backside safety fuller is actually gonna relate now to the vertical threat of three. And the three, uh, in this example, the number three receiver uh, would be OJ Howard, right there, that tight end. So if that tight end goes a vertical, then Fuller is going to take him unless number two runs to the flat, then Simmons can work to number three, okay? And then, of course, on the back end here, the tight end is going to be covered by this outside quarter. So if the tight end runs a deep corner, this outside quarter will guard it. Now, the, where this can change a little bit is if the tight end goes under, but we talk a little bit more deep in depth about that in the game plan or in the in the Patreon. So if you if you want to check that out, that will help kind of in understand that a little bit better. Okay, so to illustrate this, let me just draw up kind of a standard route combination that you might get out of this out of this set. You might have seen this route combination before, but basically something like this, right? So on the left side, the number one receiver is gonna to go to the post. So what should happen is that number one corner should match him vertically and take that away. In this example, the number two receiver is actually gonna to run to the corner. So what we need from that quarter flat defender, that quarter flat defender has gotta get out there and jam him. And then Simmons needs to be the one to take him. And then what we should get is a swap off and that quarter flat should take that uh, tight end to the flat. And then on the right side here, we've got that quarter. He is going to guard that tight end because, again, he's going on a vertical route. If the tight end does not go on a vertical route, then that quarter defender won't guard him. If the tight end does go on a vertical route, the quarter defender is responsible to guard him. Okay, So you see that's how the play looks. Let's go ahead and just snap it here real simple. You see we get a jam there. Simmons goes to the corner and takes the ball away perfectly, just like we want him to do. Now, a little pro tip out of these, out of this coverage is one of the things that I like to do is move my safeties into the box. This is really going to help for run defense, but it's also going to help in terms of just the general coverage that you're going to see. You're going to notice right here, let's say I run a concept that looks basically like this, if you will. Watch how this quarter defender on the left is going to drive on that, and you see that right there, makes a very nice play on that out route. Okay. So that's kind of the basics of this. Now, as far as who should you use or whenever you're defending a formation like this, well, one of the things that you're going to have to watch out for is a true four vertical concept where we're going to have that tight end coming across the formation just like this. And so this is why I personally recommend that if you're going to play defense on a slot that you would use or this guy 
because you need to make sure that you're going to carry any kind of crossing route. And normally quarters, the one thing that gives quarters trouble, especially in Madden, is crossing routes because they take uh, false turns. But you're going to see here, see they match, 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 and they play fairly well. Now, right there, we actually, the coverage kind of broke down a little bit uh, just because of standard. I mean, it, it sometimes will happen this way. Uh, typically, you'll see, let me show you one more time here. You see that circle receiver should be carried, and we're getting a little bit of, the, of a breakdown in the coverage. Part of this is, again, with quarters, what you have to be careful with is, in my opinion, you have to be careful with bringing these guys too far down in the box because for whatever reason, if the AI doesn't see the route, sometimes that can be problematic. But typically, this is basically what you're going to do here, and then I'll show um, I'll show four vert. So a true four vertical, you see here, carry, deliver, and you see that the tight end should be basically bagged based on the coverage. Okay, Now, we haven't talked a lot about palms, but palms is actually a coverage I really like against any kind of set that looks like this. And the reason why is because that quarter flat defender, so if we get that same four vertical look, the quarter flat defender will typically carry that number two receiver up the vertical, and now you'll get a double team on that crosser and we'll be able to bag it you know, fairly effectively as well. So there's there are two different coverages. They are a little bit different. The rules do change. But as a general rule, I really, really, really like the way quarters plays against pretty much everything. Palms plays really well against everything too. Um, but this is kind of an overview uh, of, how, of how these concepts work against just a random set um, that I haven't really labbed or anything. Just wanted to kind of get out here, uh, run some run some basic uh, concepts, you know, maybe something like this, for example. Um, this could be a, a concept that you'd get out of something like this, right? And you see, for the most part, the coverage plays fairly well. Um, but where it typically breaks down is how it covers tight ends. And so that's why what I like to do, or the number three, for example, the number three receiver is the receiver that causes everybody problems. So what I like to do typically is I'll man up the tight end like that out of that man up that three wreck on the tie on the number three and then i'll drop the defensive tackle on the three receiver side into a bluff blitz because now i've replaced my three wreck hook and the three wreck hook is typically responsible for shallow crossing routes and then i'll have a qb spy so you see this is kind of what the defense looks like now if i got a concept like what we were showing you out of four verticals right and let me just move this guy out of the way here just to kind of show the concept of the coverage but what you'll see is now just a true four verts, you know, we got really, really, really good coverage on that tight end, okay? So obviously there's more to be talked about here. We talk a lot more about this stuff in the ebook, but as a general rule, um, this is, this is kind of how it works. Now, last piece of this is how this works against the run. And this is one of the main reasons why I love this defense, because if you take a look here, because they're in inside quarter zones out of a cover four based defense, they are in the run fit. So if you watch those safeties at the snap of the ball, they're going to come down and they're going to make plays in the run game. So you don't even have to do that as a user. Now you obviously are going to help in the run game, but these safeties are really responsible for kind of setting the edge for you coming down making a lot of plays in the run game which really does help a lot uh, when we talk about you know RPO bubble inside zone on one trap stuff like that some of those interior runs that you're gonna get out of a gun set and also some of those stretch runs that you're gonna get out of a set like this so anyways this was just a brief overview of a slot I hope it was helpful I want to thank you for watching the video and if you're still watching this and you want to learn more uh, and just become a better Madden player I would really encourage you to join my patreon there's a link in the description below that you can click on so if you're interested by again remember by joining you're going to get access to everything all my ebooks all my tips everything for one price of just 10 bucks a month so if you're interested in doing that head on down to the description right now and uh, just check out that link to the patreon